Hey everyone, this is Rich the Medic and welcome to Autonauts. This game is one that I played when it was on, I believe, Itch.io over a year ago? Maybe not quite, maybe a little longer. Um, and it was a fun little game at that point. It recently came out on Steam and I've played a few minutes of it to see what's changed and boy has it changed. So, we're gonna start running through this and having a little fun being, well, Autonauts. So let's start a new game. Oh, this was different. This wasn't here before. So we can either do a colonize, we can just do free play or complete freedom to be creative. We're gonna colonize because I want to see how you unlock new buildings and what's changed. Um, So that's an interesting looking little map. Hard rock, hard rock. Water, uh, I don't really like that map. Soil, what do we, what's this area? Fresh water, clay, soil. Uh, let's keep going. You know what, let's just put in a seed. Oh, uh, oh, well, let's do that. So let's do under three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just because that's boring. You know what, we'll go with this map. Because why shouldn't we? Off we go to colonize. So we're going to land on planet 103076807 Koloxlo. Welcome, I am Otto O. Here to prepare you for your life as an autonaut. So I guess we're going to play a tutorial. Explore, collect resources, craft structures, tools, and machines. Automate systems. Establish industries. Research. Colonize. Okay. So let's colonize. So, yeah, W-A-S-N-D. Scroll in and out. We'll go all the way down here and it'll flop us right back. So let's explore some areas and... Okay, now for the basics. I'm not done exploring. I want to see more. I want more of the map. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, a stone deposit. I'll take that. Oh, my Lord. So we've got wood, stone, grass. Looks like some mushrooms. Yeah, you know, let's open up just a little bit more of the map. And then we will get on with the tutorial. Because I like having a lot of options. Oh, there's another stone. To, oh, wow. So let's just... Oh, we can walk through the water. I don't think we could walk through water before. Okay, so let's go left click on a stone and pick it up. And it's going to tell us to press Q to store it and then pick it back up. We can alt hover over something to see what we can use it for. And I guess we're going to go chop down a tree with a rock. That sounds like very much like Minecraft to me, but you know, hey, what the heck. Oh, we got a stick. Um, so we'll get rid of the stick. And we've got the basics. Aren't we good? As your technology evolves, you unlock blueprints and build to build structures, machines, and more. Click on the icon of press E to access your structural blueprints. We'll just push E. So I guess it wants us to build a crude workbench. Um, oops, didn't want to do that. So where do we want to start setting up shop? We've got rocks. You know what? I think we're going to go over here. And right there looks like a good spot. Collect parts needed to build the crude workbench. Right click on the foundation to add them. You can check to see what's needed by hovering over. So I need a log and two sticks. So let's go pick up a stick. We'll go pick up another stick. And sticks we can apparently carry two at a time. Logs, not so much. See, he's sweating to haul that log. Gee, I wonder what the first thing we're gonna automate is probably gonna be. Oh, I know, picking up logs. 
And he's going to jump up and down and magically create a bench. Um, so it's going to want us to make an axe, so I need a stick and a stone. I think this little tutorial guy following us around is kind of fun. Oh, oh, I didn't pick up a stick because I still had a, I guess I had a stone in my hand. That was pretty stupid. And voila, we have a crude axe, our first tool. So let's go chop a fallen log. Okay, we can do that. I'll zoom up over here where we can see, and we're gonna turn these into planks. We can chop planks to make poles. And we've obviously got the of being a lumberjack. Well, blueprints, they want us to make a robotic station. Oh, uh, where do we want to put this? You know, might as well put it there. What do we need for this? Logs and planks. Well, luckily for me, I'm going to chop up planks into sticks. I didn't really want to do that. Okay. So we'll put you over here and then we'll chop. I think I need to chop down. I think it's going to be easier to chop down a tree than to walk to the other side of the map and haul another log. Come on, little tree. Fall down. Thank you. And I need what? Three planks? So we need to chop up some logs. Goodbye. So we'll chop down another tree. Get a, another log. Store axe. And I think we can pick, yep. And we'll just... Now here's where the fun begins. We have a basic bot workshop, which means we need a log, three planks, and poles. Luckily for me, I accidentally made a bunch of poles I didn't need. And I can carry four poles, it looks like, so we'll just store you guys here for future use. Um, need another log? So we'll go chop down a log. Cotton crop. Oh, interesting. Don't want to accidentally chop you up into stuff I don't need. So I need an acorn, which should be this little guy here. We'll go ahead and pick up a few of these because we're going to need several. And we'll just dump you guys there and that just leaves plankage. So pull out the axe, go chop a tree. And then we'll chop a log. Put you away. Oh. I think I needed three. And that should be three right there. And we have our first robot. The robot Mark One. So we will wind him up. Now these first robots have to be wound up to keep them working. So it's going to want me to make an axe. Well, I need a rock. Oh, there's rocks over here. So let's trot over here. We'll just pick up as many rocks as I can carry. I think it's yeah, maximum of four. So we'll put one on there. And then we're going to drop the rest over here. I need a stick. There you go. And now you're going to jump up and down and make an axe. Um, we'll give that to you, my friend. 
Now, this is going to tell us how to program robots. Now, programming robots hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, so we're going to follow the steps in order. First, we have to whistle at it. Then we're going to click on our buddy, the Mark 1, who I think we can rename to Dave. Dave the Chopper. Yes, I can get it in there. So now we have to record. And we're going to tell Dave after... Well, I want this more centered. So we're going to tell Dave to go chop a tree. Tree is chopped. Now, we can surround this and tell him, do this forever. So as long as he's got a tool, he will do this. Now, there are many options. We can tell him to do a lot of different things. But we'll get to that at a later date. So... We are going to... Oh, no! No! I screwed up. I was going to do something different. So, jump a tree. So, we're going to retrain Dave. Until it runs out of power or its tool breaks, which is fine. Now, here's what I wanted to do. Let's stop. Click record to edit. Now, Dave can have a much bigger area. We're going to tell him, max out that area. Okay, Dave. Now you've got a big area to go play in. So, I already know it's going to tell me to make another bot. And I know exactly what it's going to tell me to do, too. It's going to make me make a bot to plant tree so we can have sustainable forestry. I'm going to need a bunch of sticks. So I'm going to go ahead and collect up sticks. Make a little stockpile of sticks right here. So what do we need? I need planks, poles, and a tree seed. Well, tree seed's easy. We'll just go get you. I need one pull and I need logs. So I'm just going to bring one down here for the next spot and then we'll go out in the field and chop logs. So go chop that log up and go chop that log up. We're going to go drop three planks here. And we're going to drop the last plank over here in just a second. Now, let's charge the bot. Our second bot is ready. Yay! Okay, so now we have to go here. And if you click on the crude workbench, you can change to different tools. We only have the spade right now, which is fine. There will be some other things that we will get here in just a little bit. So we'll get the spade. Yeah, I made it. I know. I want a second spade. Get up. So. And we'll give you a spade. And then I'm going to go pick up a spade. And we are going to tell Mike the Digger what to do. So we're going to go kind of central here. And we're going to go dig a hole. Alrighty. Now it's going to tell us we can make the area bigger, which we're going we're going to do it anyway. Now, here's a nifty trick. I think that I can 
tell him to go and pick up acorns. But you know what? I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll have a specialized acorn dude. Look at that bot go! Okay, dig holes. Thank you. So... Oh. We'll put the spade down. Oh no, that's not where I want to put it. Let's put the spade over here, kind of out of our way. So, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need... a number of logs. Because I need planks. So I might as well haul some of these around. This guy's just waiting for trees to grow. As you see, Dave the Chopper waiting for trees. Mike the Digger is digging. So, let's pick up a log and go and throw you on here. Let's see, I need one pole. Let's pull out an axe and chop up a log. Now, you can only carry one type of item at a time. And I can carry four pole planks. Alrighty, let's go dig you up. Yay. So we're going to blow the whistle. I'm going to click on you. And what are we going to name you? Alexa Acorn Grabber. Yeah, I like that. So let's record. Now let's go over here and kind of get as central as we can. Pick up an acorn. And put it in the nearest hole. We'll do that. We're going to give you a max area for this. We're going to max your area for holes. And we're going to set you free. Check out that bot. So now... You've earned your first certificate. Essential auto nodding. So, tutorial complete. Here's the Academy Basics Commemorative Slab. This is something else that, that was new and it kind of, this sets up your quest area, more or less. Sorry, I had to a little, take a little drink of tea there. Welcome to the Academy, you just earned your first certificate. Yay us. Here's a new plan and a new certificate earn. You can pin the plan to reference it while playing. Except I don't know how. All blueprints and related parts can be found here. You can even click on parts to see where they came from. Lots of handy hints. So let's pin you. Let's close you. Well done, you completed your Autonaut training. I'm returning to the ship, but I'll be around to keep an eye on your progress. Thanks, Auto O. So let's close you up. Now, the Academy need to chop down plant seeds, blah, blah, blah. But over here, my first forestry tells me what I need to do. So we'll just close that up because I really don't care about that right now. So let's see what we got for new blueprints. We have storage boxes. Now these storage pallets is new. We had the boxes before, but this lets you stack three pallets for a storage area. But when you're building, you can't use it. So those are really nifty. And then colonists see, okay, this is something brandy new, but we can't get to this because we can't build these things. Uh, crew gears just yet. We'll get to that. So what do we want to do? I think what we're going to do is end this episode right here. This is a good start. Um, we've got forestry going, so we're going to have sustain sustainable trees. Um, oh, you know what? We have an issue here. We have a dead robot. But in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So thanks for joining, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This game is available on Steam. Link will be down below. Um, like, comment. If you have any 
Even if you don't, just say first. Um, remember to click that subscribe button to know when new episodes go up. And guys, thanks for joining me. This is Rich the Medic. I'm out of here.